last week you got to see where we currently live and why we're moving out. This week we have a lot of packing to do, because we're moving next Saturday. But before we start packing, we have a very necessary IKEA trip to do. I have walked around IKEA so many times, dreaming about one day getting to furnish my dream apartment with all these beautiful pieces of furniture and decor. And now that dream has become reality, so this IKEA trip was my favorite one ever. We got a few things and found some stuff we plan to get as soon as we move, as well as some items that we will get a bit later on. When you plug in the air fryer and the water heater at once, the, the lights go off and you're like, where's the switch? Oh. We looked at a lot of lamps and decided to go for this adjustable one whose vintage look will fit our new place perfectly. It's like a snake. Oh, it's creepy. Whoopa. Nice. We picked a nice rainbow doormat, some cute kitchen towels, and spent way too much time in the kitchen department. We both really enjoy cooking, and you can never have enough pretty plates. This make like tea. Yeah? You have like a dispenser. What do you make lemonade? Lemonade. Tea lemonade. Let's see. Lemon dressing. Yeah, it's nice. This would be so nice for spices. Like, right where you're cooking here, you just open this and you take spices. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay. It's so similar to the one we have. Yeah. Yep, I was right. And the best thing is, I got the exact bookshelf I wanted in the exact color I wanted. 50% off. They only had a few of them left because they're not gonna sell this color anymore. So I got really lucky. Transporting the bookshelf was another story. I have been demoted to the back seat because the bookshelf is more important than me. Priorities. This is gonna be the first thing we bring to the new place. Excited. buy us a custom made tablecloth to have it on the table when we eat and I explained to her that the reason they always have a tablecloth on their table is because they're always eating bread with their meals which means there's always crumbs we usually don't eat bread like very rarely so why would you need to have a tablecloth all the time it's actually easier to keep your table clean because it's just a wooden table if some food falls on it you just wipe that and then that's it if you have a tablecloth and you get it dirty then you have to wash it in the washing machine and then dry it and it's too much it's too much when we moved in this is what was on the couch a couch that's like older than the earth itself <laughs> this okay this is like an, a warm and cozy blanket but like print look at the print mm. how can you lay on that <laughs> and this very diy pillow <laughs> <laughs> That's like, <laughs> first of all, it's so fucking old and it's filled with, what is it even filled in? Like, it's like clumps of cotton, but it doesn't feel like cotton. I don't know what is. No, it's foam. A foam, I don't, I don't fucking know, but like, it's not even the whole thing. Like, it's filled up like... <laughs> We give this to you, it's a, so you can sleep on the couch. It's a very poor improvisation of a pillow. How can you like rent a place and just put this on the couch and be like, there you go. There you go, you feel chill. There you couch. go. Lay your pretty head on this nice soft pillow. Ah! <clears throat> Can't wait to move. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Project I have to tackle is this mess. Why do I have a whole bag of medicine? Like a whole fucking pharmacy. Every time I go back to Macedonia, my mom just gives me a bag full of medicine, just in case. As if Slovenia doesn't have one single pharmacy. Look at this. What the fuck? I have various bags, which signify each different time I went to Macedonia. Even the, the bag is from a shop in Macedonia. Oh, yo, 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 why do I still have this? This is a bag full of receipts because I had the idea of making a spreadsheet of the prices of products I'm buying 
and comparing them like prices from two years ago and prices from now. Am I ever gonna do that? I'm throwing this away. No, actually. One of the nice things about packing is getting to go through your stuff and discover things that you forgot you had. Nice ones and not so nice ones. The not so nice ones are, for example, all of the chewing gum containers. Like, they were selling them. You remember they used to sell them in this one, now they're white. I have like five of these. Anyway, I found all of my phone cases, which I never use. Nice smelling candle that I never burned. I found the cheapest IKEA lamp that I got when I moved to Slovenia. I found all of my blue parts, which I really like. You know, now, now the real question is, how much of this am I actually gonna use in the new place? Or will I just transfer my shit from one place to another and then end up in the same mess? You know, I need to get some film for my Polaroid, because I never use it. I also have a Harry Potter wand. wand, wand. That Mattia gave me that it doesn't work. I mean, <laughs> not that it doesn't work in the sense of I had a Potter when want. It just doesn't work because it's supposed to. I think it's supposed to light up. Whatever. You remember when you 3D printed this key holder? Carlos Dreams is one of my favorite bands. They're from Moldova. I love them. We packed away our clothes. We packed all the other stuff from the bedroom we also emptied the wardrobe in the living room and that's all the energy for today because it's already midnight we still have to pack my books and the kitchen and the bathroom the hallway i knew this couldn't happen in one day it's good that we're moving in a week because like if we had to start packing the day we were moving that 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 wouldn't go well enough for today we're continuing tomorrow good night It's the next day and there's still a lot of packing to do. Before we start packing, I really need to vacuum because the floor is a mess. Let's finish the work part as fast as possible and then get to enjoying life. These are the only high heeled shoes I have. They're nothing that high. And I don't remember the last time I wore them. Okay, these things I have to vacuum here as well, but I don't think I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, that's a problem for another day. And now we've come to my favorite part the books. I have a big box here that Mattia kindly washed and dried but I'm still gonna wipe it because I don't want any water getting on my books I'm wondering if I should place some like newspapers on top or on the bottom I found the perfect thing I can use my old math notebooks because I know that I definitely wouldn't miss these ones if anything happened to them it almost reminds me of making a lasagna Okay, now I can start. Should I do top to bottom or bottom to top? Actually, that's not the best strategy. I think it would be better if I put the wider books first on this one. There, lift this. Ugh. 
Going to the gym pays off. There is this suitcase that Mattia filled with stuff that definitely doesn't need to be in a suitcase. So we'll use it for the rest of the house. Two books here. Mattia has one in his backpack, I have one on my nightstand. Okay. I did it! It's 4 p.m. and I'm done with everything I planned. We still have the kitchen to pack up and then that's it. Also, the, some stuff from the bathroom, but that's not a lot. I'm glad that we started packing a week early because there's no way we would get everything done in one day. This way we have everything prepared or well, almost everything. And then on Saturday, Matthias' father is coming with a van and we're just gonna put everything in the van and move, finally. And then we're probably gonna come back on Sunday to clean the place. Because although I vacuumed, uh, I'm gonna definitely have to vacuum again and we'll also have to mop and you know just give it back in the state they gave it to us Although I would have to find the whole family of spiders to infest this place for it to be the same it was when we died Thank you for hanging out with me while I did all this packing I'm so excited for you to see the new place So if you're excited as well stay tuned for the next video Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week in a much much nicer apartment I can't even close it with one hand. Not having to close this door one last time feels really fucking amazing. This feels monumental. <laughs> and we're here! <laughs>